Well, hey guys, I am back. It is your favorite real estate agent, Walter Davis, with Keller Williams here in Spring, Texas. And today, I think I wanted to do something a little different than normal. Um, instead of sitting at the desk and kind of reciting to you, I wanted to show you some things based off of what some clients have came back and asked me about and what some fellow agents have asked me about. And the biggest topic is, is why does Walter focus primarily on expired listings um, and, and homes that didn't sell the first time around? And there's a lot of reasons why um, I focus on those. Primarily is because I feel that client needs a little more help. Their dream of selling that home quickly and getting it out of here might have ended. Um, when it didn't sell the first time, but I want to give you some tools and show you some reasons why a home wouldn't sell or at least within that first term and there's only four so let me we're going to use our whiteboard here today and the four reasons um, one of them you might know yourself, but the four reasons are um, price um, So if it's price too high um, then what happens is, is you get caught behind the market and it takes longer to sell. Condition. And what that means is, is how does your home compare with all the other homes in the market? Are you competing against new construction? Are you competing against other resale homes that are just in better condition? Are they more updated? than your home. So, so condition plays a big role as well as the big stuff. Like, does it need repairs? Cosmetically, does it look great? You know, those are some of the main reasons there. Um, the third reason would be location. Unfortunately, you can't change where your house is. Once your house is on that plot, that's where it is. Um, there's no picking it up and moving it to another place. But I will say, for especially my clients that are in the spring, the woodlands, Tomball, in this general northwest area, this is an a area that uh, people like to come to. Good schools, good areas, things of that nature. So location generally doesn't play a big role. But I'm going to tell you what the fourth role that I like to add to it is marketing how is your home being marketed who what are we doing in regards to or the agent in in, in that first contract doing to put your house on the map because the reality of it is is I got 33,000 real estate agents in all of Houston that I'm looking at every morning I could be the most detailed agent but the reality of it is if you don't put your house in front of me how am I going to show my client your house? Especially if it's not in the L area or the realm of maybe some of the other houses that they're looking at. So how do we put your house on the map? Okay. Now there's a key to this that I need to really explain to you. And if you look at this little curve here, bell curve here, all right, down here is what you look at. This would be like one week, you know, this would be like two weeks, this would be like three weeks, this would be like four weeks that you have your house on the market, okay? Your optimum period is like right here. That's when you get the most hype on your house if your agent takes it to that level, okay? Now, so I'll tell you about some things that we do as a team, but if we don't miss it, if you don't get it in this area, what ends up happening is you start losing share. You start losing because the new houses that are coming on are pushing your house further away. So not only are you pushing it further away, but now you're looking at it, now you're there, now you're there, now you're there. If you look here, you're behind the market at that time. And once you get behind, it's just like if I was a dog chasing a rabbit. Once I get, but that dog gets behind that rabbit, if that rabbit knows where he's going, that dog will never catch him. So now you gotta do drastic things. Now I gotta do a $10,000 drop or a $20,000 drop. And you wonder why you get into that race of dropping prices. Well, I'm gonna tell you two things. 
It was priced wrong first. It was priced too high. The second thing is they didn't put it on the market. They put it kind of like they set it on top of the market and just kind of let it sit there. They didn't actually put it in the market so that it could compete with every other property that's on the market. And then the third thing is if they don't have the technology that we use on my team, then they can't make it visible enough. Because the reality of it is, is you could either be visible right here in Spring, Texas, or you could be visible like my team does and make you global. Now you're seen all over the world and throughout the United States because there are buyers that are coming in here that want to live in these great areas. So again, this is where you need to be. That's where you want to do those open houses. That's where you want to do the mass marketing. That's where you want to do all, that's kind of like the sweet spot of getting it done. And again, the main reasons why your house didn't sell the first time, one, two, three, or four. This one, we know it is what it is. This one you can work on, sometimes that changes, but mainly it's this and this. And a resourceful agent is going to make sure that you're priced in the market and you're marketed at a high level. But of course, if you have any other questions in regards to how this works, or even maybe your house didn't sell the first time around and you're kind of wondering, should I sell it? Am I out of the market? Give me a call. You can always reach me at 832-257-9083. Let me and my team sit with you for 10 or 15 minutes and show you what we do to get you in the market and get you sold here. As always, I'm your favorite resource and your favorite real estate agent here in Spring, Texas. I look forward to talking to you and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.